Greetings, and welcome to another OutSystems how-to video. My name is Andrew Duthie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add data grid functionality to your OutSystems application in three steps and in about three minutes. Let's get started. The data grid is a relatively new addition to our Forge library, and it is a supported component that you can use in your applications. You can see the data grid page here, and you can find it in the Forge by going to outsystems.com forge and searching for data grid. Switching over to Service Studio, you can see that I've created a web application, which is where we'll implement our data grid. The first step in working with the data grid is to get some data. So I've added the OutSystem sample data DB and its sample employee entity as a dependency to my project. Next, I created an employee API with a getEmployees API method that returns an employee's output parameter, which has the type sample employee list. This is where we'll get our data for our data grid. Now I need to add a screen to my application where I can place the grid. I'll call this grid home. And then I can search my toolbox for grid, find the grid container, and drag and drop it onto the screen. Now you can see that our grid container has a red border around it because it's missing an important parameter, namely the URL that it needs to get the data. So let's open up the expression editor and add that. I've got that stashed in my clipboard, so I'll just paste it in place. What we're doing here is getting the owner URL path. That's going to get me the, the base URL of my application as well as the application path. And then I'm adding rest slash employee API slash get employees. That's where the JSON data for our data grid will come from. Click done. Next, I'm going to select my grid container again, and I'm simply going to set auto generate columns to true. That's really all I need to do. And now I can publish my application and test it. Our application is now published, and we'll go ahead and test the grid functionality. So you can see we've been able to load the data from our sample data. We can do all of the things that you'd expect to do with a data grid, for example, obvious ones like sorting. So I can sort up or down, scroll around easily. I can take, for example, uh, something like the office column and use it to group our rows, collapse or expand those rows. And I can filter. So I could say I only want employees where the last name begins with T. Apply that, and you can see I've only got a couple of employees whose names start with T. So it's pretty straightforward and easy to implement. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our OutSystems YouTube channel. In future videos, I'll explore other topics related to the data grid, including editing and saving data, using different column types, and more. Thanks for watching.